you were discussing the global uh, obesity situation. Why are some individuals becoming obese, others are not? Is there something with the genes or regulation of the genes? So what's, what's the reason? Well, there are lots of reasons. Uh, the first is there's lots of food available. And in an environment in which there's lots of food available, uh, some people have a propensity to eat more of it than others, certainly for genetic reasons. Genetic variability is clearly important. And as I've tried to point out, uh, genetic variability loads the gun and our environmental triggers pull the trigger. So factors in our environment are responsible in people who have the appropriate genetic background for making them more obese than other people with a different genetic background. You discussed uh, the quality of the diet somehow. You addressed carbohydrates and you were mentioning the sweetened beverages, which are discussed a lot in the literature, uh, may make it to the newspapers. What is your opinion on that? What should we do? Sweetened beverages are one of our current problems for a couple of reasons. First, the way in which the body responds to uh, sugar in a solution is different than in solid food. In fact, any beverage is less well detected by the body in, in terms of adjusting the intake of other food. Uh, that's, so that's the first issue. The compensation is not correct. Uh, second, uh, the beverages provide, in most instances, caffeine, which is a stimulant, a mildly addictive substance which gets people to want more of the same beverage. So want more beverage, get more calories. The third element in most of the beverages with sugar in them is that half of that sugar molecule is fructose, another half is glucose. And fructose appears to produce a number of undesirable side effects in the amounts now consumed, particularly in the genetically susceptible people. Uh, and in my view, it's a major cause of a disease which wasn't present when I was in medical school, but now is an important one, and that's non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Which percentage of the population in developed countries uh, have the disease? Uh, it, 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 the data are difficult to come by because you need to do ultrasound measurements. So mm. our epidemiologic data are largely in developed countries, not in developing ones. Uh, but it, it, the, the progress is towards from, from fatty liver to uh, fibrotic changes to so bad outcomes. But, but it's the fatty liver issue and the, the things that are responding to fructose, fructose that make me believe that we need to make some modifications in our consumption of particularly sugar sweet. Is this disease reversible? If you reduce your intake, if you lose weight? Yes, indeed it is. Okay, good news. Thank you. Cheers.